welcome to S&T Snail Production. We are happy to get to this stage. Uh, today, we are to unveil our slime production machines. When I say slime production machines, this is the first machine that has entered West Africa. In terms of slime production, snail slime production, this machine is the first machine entering West Africa. These machines are the second machines entering the entire Africa. The first people to get this machine, extracting snail slime, according to international standard, is in South Africa. South Africa is the first persons that bought this machine. S&T Snail Production is the second person that is buying this machine now in the entire Africa. Then, being the second person in the entire Africa, then the number one person in West Africa. Yeah, we have to unveil this machine, then we will explain it one by one. But what we need to do here is, uh, I will tell you the origin. The topic we are going to discuss to unveil this machine is the origin of snail farming. Why do people farm snail? What's the origin of farming snail? Now, let's get to see these machines and understand what each machine signifies or stands for. My name remains Engineer Theocracy. We are here to unveil this uh, machine, but get it clear, prepare. We are doing it together. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Facebook fans, congratulations. Instagram followers, congratulations. YouTube followers, congratulations. A special congratulations to SRT Snail uh, Productions College of Chart in India students. Yeah. Now, this is the machine. But now, like I say, the topic we are discussing today is the origin of snail farming. Far back then, the wife discovered something. After handling snail over and over, they realized that uh, the hands of the workers become newer and fresher. They now realized, why is it that handling snail over and over again makes your skin smooth? And clean. Why? They now discover that the slime itself is very good for anti aging, uh, stretch mark, uh, skin as a whole. It's a whole lot of things involved in snail slime. That would be a different lecture. What did they do? They started picking snails in the spa, in the cosmetologist, uh, the um, um, medical. They started picking snails and evaluating snails to the point that they start using snail to cure skin problem. They start using snail slime to do some kind of beauty therapy. They will have to lie you down. They will put the snail in your face to allow the snail to crawl all over your face. Why? They are trying to extract the snail slime through the snail movement in your skin. But you know, there is this uh, tutorial when I say tutori, you know what it means. When snail is crawling over your, your body, just as I did tutori, and you're not even moving. You know, when you tutori person. So when the snail is moving all over their face, so everyone will just throw it away. They can't enjoy it. They say, what's the best way to solve this problem? They decided to soak it down. Let's extract the slime and leave the snail so that we can use the slime to treat, to repair to produce cream, to produce a soap, to produce a facial scrub powder in the cosmetics industry, and also to extract this slime for the pharmaceutical people to also use, to also extract this slime for food nutritionists to also use because of the nutrients they found in snail slime. Oh, then how do we have this snail? Where do we get this snail? 
that was what prompted to the origin of picking snakes in an enclosure to farm them so that whenever they need to extract slime, they can have direct access. Instead of going to hunt snail whenever they need it, they decided to bring snail in and thinking of how do we farm this thing? So that we can have quick access to the slime when we want to extract for uh, cosmetics and so many other uh, purposes. That's the origin of uh, snail farming. Now, like I used to tell people, when we are talking about farming system, we have various types. But picking snails from the farm, keeping it in an enclosure, like a wooden pen, that wooden pen, they are keeping the snail there and waiting extraction. So when you are copying, you don't just thinking that that pen is where they, they farm them. They don't farm them in that pen. Instead, they pick them from the feed, which is the extensive farming. They pick them from the feed, they now put it in the pen and waiting to go to extraction. So when you are copying, say, oh, let me farm snail in the pen. They don't farm snail in the pen. So when I see people farming snail in the pen, I call them isolation center because they've isolated the snails from the farm are waiting to go to the factory. So we put them there. It becomes an isolation center because they've isolated them from the main farm. Now, this is the machine. For them not to be killing snail over and over again, there is a law. We call it the Moscow standard, animal law. That you cannot be killing snake over and over again just to extract slime. No, they don't put uh, a law to guide this animal. Because if you keep picking this snail, you kill it, you extract this slime, snail will go into a station. And by the time snail goes to a station, you won't be seeing snail everywhere. You go to any country, there's no more snail because we'll be killing them just because we want to extract that vital nutrient, that vital mineral called snail slime. There's not a law. That is what prompted the whites to say, no, let us develop a machine that can extract this snail slime from the snail without killing the snail. That is the origin of this machine. Now, the purpose of this machine is to what? You put the snail in the machine, the snail, this machine will uh, uh, extract the slime, leaving the snail alive. I repeat leaving the snail alive. When the snail comes alive, you take the snail back to the field. It will eat within one month's time. You pick them back to the factory to extract. It becomes regenerating slime for you over and over. That's why I call it refinery. You keep refining, refining, getting slime from the snail and you sell your products. Now, while you are refining, it will get to a particular state. Remember, the snail is growing. When it grows to a standard, you have to pick the snail. Then you now know that, yes, it's big enough to kill. You kill it, you remove the, 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 the meat for sales, you remove the shell for production of calcium, bluish water for production of bluish water, then whatever snail that is remaining there, you also extract. Remember, that snail has produced you over and over slime before you finally kill it. So that snail contains uh, the, the sheet, uh, sorry, the, the slime, the meat, the shell, and uh, bluish. the bluish water, and the sheet. When I say the sheet, you understand. Now, how does this machine work? This is a compartment. This is a compartment. We bought the double compartment. This is the first double compartment entry in Africa. Now this compartment, you open this and you pour the snail inside. You pour the snail inside. You come to this place, you open this and you pour the snail inside. Then, take a look at it. When you pour the snail here, this machine will extract the slime and drop in this container. You pick it and pour off your, your snail slime.
after which you now move the slime to the filtration machine because of some materials, some pathogens, some other things in it. The machine, the slime have to pass through proper micro filtration. That is the micro filtration machine. This is the micro filtration machine. You have to pour the slime. You pour the slime in here, it passes through some filtration down to the end. Then, after which you are done with the filtration, then what happens next? You either package your raw snake slime. Remember, we don't put water. There is no water. Now, let me tell you what you should understand about snake slime. So when somebody tells you, I have somewhere I buy snake slime, I have snake slime, I can produce snake slime, my dear, the nutrient inside the slime is the power. By the time you use reagent, when I say reagent, some people will miss some solution in a water form. They will sprinkle the snail, and the snail will throw away your slime. It is dangerous to do snail one, and immediately you re use reagent. Yeah, you remember then when we produce snail slime? We first produce snail slime, but remember what we said? No, 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 no. We have to make sure that it meets international standard. Yes, she condemns it. I step back. You know, sometimes you want to achieve something, somebody is not calling your attention that, calm down, calm down, take a look at it this way, take a, you don't just want to look at it that way, you want to just arrive. I have to step down with our advice. I step down, I said, okay, he said, we have to get it right. Getting it right is the, is the, is the power. Getting it right is, 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 the, is the mission. There are many people out there, but getting it right is the mission. We said, okay, we'll start making some research of people who can produce the machine. Now, we got it from Mucos Pro. Mucos Pro is the second person producing slime in the world. The entire world. There are just two. Mucos Pro is the second person producing this machine in the entire world. And it's only two companies. Now, we contacted them, and uh, here we are, our slime machine has arrived in Nigeria. We are making this video from Nigeria. So, it's a big pleasure to have this refinery machine in Africa. Then, after packaging of this snake slime in liquid form, from the liquid form you can start processing through cream, so cosmetics will come in, pick their own, uh, pharmaceutical will come, food nutrition will come, they will start using it for production. But, in order for you to convert that slime, into powder form because of those who are traveling and especially our brothers and sisters in diaspora and in other places you have to convert the liquid because restriction in carrying liquid things abroad and so many other places restricted and so tell you no, they need it in powder form so we bought the other machine this is the machine we call it the dryer this machine has to convert the liquid uh, uh, slime into powder form. I made a video concerning the powder form the other time. Yes. Now, this is the other machine. Now, the entire machine in the refinery of snake slime presently SRT has it and is now possession. I don't know how best to say it. Now, let me clarify one place here in terms of that using reagent. We decided not to use it, not because we are slow. We decided to get it right. Now, when you use reagent to extract uh, uh, slime from snail, do you know what happened? The nutrient that that slime contains is dead. It's not just getting slime. It's very easy to make a bowl of ever gari and put uh, water and oil, palm oil, just with something, and you'll be eating it. You'll be eating it. Yes, you get filled up. You get food. But the truth is, have you really eaten something nutritious? The answer is no. He said that food might even damage your system. But when you prepare a nutritious food, no matter how small it is, when you eat it, all the body organs will recognize and everybody will start picking the nutrient for functionality. So when you use reagent to extract snake slime, you have gotten snake slime. But when you take that snake slime to the lab, 
and test the nutritional fat of that snake slime is equal to zero. So no matter the production you are using that snake slime for, it will not work. Your body will not change. Nothing will work. These are what we know. But what to tell you when we bring it because you will not believe. Here is the machine. We have unveiled the machine. Once again, I will say a very big congratulation. Now, SRT, we are trying our possible best. Presently now, we are the number one snake slime production in West Africa. When I say number one, I don't mean using reagent. If you are using reagent somewhere, those are not recommended. According to international law, all protocol observed, we meet all the protocol and we meet all standard approved. Don't you think s &T should be trusted when it comes to snail business, when it comes to snail production? You might trust us. We are not begging for trust. Keep watching, keep observing. You understand that s &T is a... Uh, we are trying. And the biggest and the biggest machine so far concerning snail refinery is here. Congratulations. We started this business from the roadside. We have never borrowed a penny from anybody. And nobody has given us a penny to actualize this. We struggle day by day to make sure we make some practical research. I don't sleep, she don't sleep, trying to make sure we arrive at where we are today. s and is the first online snail uh, uh, shop. The first online snail shop is owned by s and The first snail college, when I say snail college, I don't mean training. Yeah, when you say uh, we're organizing a training for snail farming, no. The first college, registered college in the entire Africa is s &T. The first snail slime production is s &T. Right now, we are building farms in all the states, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, Africa as a whole. Why are we doing that? Because the machine that will extract the slime from all these places is around. Now, what you need to do if you're in the diaspora, you have gotten uh, uh, evidence that yes, s and is on standby when it comes to snake slime production, when it comes to meat production, when it comes to bleach water production, and the calcium carbonate production. So, you, if you are not doing snail farming, you can stand as a mediator, be it uh, Germany, be it uh, UK, be it America, you get the market for us. We cannot be everywhere. You get the market for us and say, please, can I buy 200 pieces of slime? Can I buy some volume of snail slime? He say, yeah, we'll ship it to you. Either in liquid form or in powder form, we'll ship it to you. Then you do the selling. Or you contact some cosmetologists, you contact some uh, uh, pharmaceutical department that yes, we have this product. We'll ship it to you, then you sell. If you're in Nigeria, you have uh, a farm, even if your farm is not producing yet, we can give you snail slime for you to sell. Now, the reason why we don't extract snail slime everywhere is this. s and snail production will only get snail slime from their students. The students have been trained on how to produce everything you see here. Then we are to buy from the student of s and snail production only. The reason is, we don't know if others are using reagents. Because if we buy it from you, we'll take it to the lab. We'll have to test it. Now, this is the production room. These machines are going to the production room. We have all departments. The laboratory is there where we'll test. Immediately, we we'll extract, to we'll take it to the laboratory. The laboratory will give us the nutritional fact of each line. We'll use this machine to test the Ashatina marginata. We we'll use this machine to test the Ashatina Ashatina. We we'll use it to test the uh, Lisa Ashatina folica. We we'll use it to test the um, uh, Achatina uh, marginata, good, and uh, um, articulanta, Achatina articulanta. Now, it is s and that will tell you the nutrient fat of marginata. Is the nutrient fat of marginata different from uh, folica? Is the nutritional fat of folica different from uh, Achatina Achatina? 
Is the nutritional fact of Ashatina Ashatina different from uh, Ashatina uh, Articulata? These are what we'll tell you, and we'll tell you, please believe, because every machine is to do the experiment. Is yeah. Once again, uh, let's have a toast. Let's share a wine. Bring the wine, let's share. Yeah, we are using this wine to launch this. Uh, To all our viewers, to all Facebook fans, to all Instagram fans, to all YouTubers, YouTube fans, please, we want to share with you, please drink with us as we use this to launch it. Yeah, so bring your cup, all Facebook fans, have it. All Instagram fans, have it. All YouTube fans, Bring your cup, bring your cup. Have it. Then a special big cup for the SRT Snail uh, Production student, which is the student of the Ashat in Italy. Have it. If you want to buy me one more wine, you can do so. So we have finally launched it. So congratulations once again. A very big congratulation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so it's a case of factory.